Hey, it's Professor Davis here, and here we are in part one of Essentials of Statistics. This is on rounding numbers. Now, let's take a minute before we actually get into it and determine why we're actually doing this. First, it's to our advantage to, gr to agree on the precision of some sort of solution. Uh, for example, if we're doing um, uh, computing the average of some numbers, we usually round to one more place than the given data. Or if we're doing probabilities, it's good to agree on whether to um, uh, agree to you know, round to three decimal places or four decimal places, depending on the kind of uh, probability we're computing. Now, we also want to have our answer make sense in a real-life application. For example, if we're computing uh, something with money, it would make sense to uh, round the answer to the nearest the nearest penny, you know, two decimal places of a dollar. So, um, so that's why we want to do it. Now, there's two methods we're going to use. The first method is to round to a given number of decimal places. You know, round to um, uh, three decimal places or its equivalent to thousandths place, that kind of thing, because a lot of the numbers we round are like that. Now, we're going to be working on rounding numbers that, that is a portion of a whole number. In other words, those numbers are that are to the right of the decimal point, because those are the numbers we work with most often in statistics. And the other thing is to round to the next whole number, because a lot of times, in particular, when we compute sample sizes, that's the convention we have to follow. So let's take an, let's take a look at an example on how we round numbers here. And there's two scenarios here, and uh, the first one is on rounding to a given number of decimal places. First, we want to decide which is the last digit we want to keep, whether it be four decimal places, two decimal places, one decimal place, that kind of thing. Then, leave it the same if the next digit to the right is uh, less than five, or if the digit to the right, the next digit, is five or more, increase that digit by one. All right? So the same thing you've kind of learned for, for a long, long time since uh, grade school. So let's just try an example and make sure we have the idea. It says round 0 0.32593 to three decimal places. Okay, so here we go. Here we see that the third digit to the right, there it is, is a 5, and just to the right of that is a 9. All right? Here, I'll show it. I'll show it down here. Here's the digit. Here's the place we're rounding to. Thousands place or three decimal places. So we, just to the right of that, we have a nine. That number is uh, what five or more. So we want to make the next number bigger. The rat, the red one there. Three decimal places. So rounding to three decimal places, that would be three point two six. All right. Now let's take a look at one more here. Round zero point six two one four eight to the nearest hundredth. Well, the nearest hundredth, that would be the second decimal place, wouldn't it? All right, so what we want to do is to examine that digit and then examine the digit to the, just to the right of it. The digit just to the right of it is a one, so that means what? The place we're rounding to, we just want to leave that number the same because the green number here is less than five. All right, so rounded to two decimal places, that number is zero point Six two. Alright, so that's the first kind of rounding we want to do. We want to round to a certain number of decimal places. Now the second method is to, the, is to round to the next whole number. Round up is the way we want to think about it. So if the given value is a whole number, that's the answer. So if we compute something and it ends up being a whole number, that's our answer. We don't have to do anything else. And then If the given value has any non-zero decimal part, no matter how small, we make the answer the next greater whole number. In other words, we want to round up to the next whole number. So uh, let's try an example of this now. Round the given values to the next higher whole number. All right, the first number is 125.019. So notice here, there's a small decimal part here. So to the round to the next whole number, what do we want to do? We want to add 1 and round that up to 126. So you kind of wonder why you even want to do why this rounding up business like that. Well, it ends up when we compute sample sizes, this is the convention we have to follow. Second example here, uh, the given number is 1,450. Well, look, there's no decimal part here, is there? So it's already a whole number, so we can just copy that down as the answer.
So that's all there is to it. That's rounding numbers in Essentials of Statistics.